Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name's Chelsea. You know that. I know that. And I'm just a lady with a bulldog, a camera, and too many opinions. And sometimes those opinions make people not like me. So then they think it's okay to come to my house or dox my personal information or have me swatted or have pizza sent to my house that like they don't even pay for or send me pictures of my house with threatening messages or sometimes come to my house at midnight and knock on my door trying to trying to meet me and say hi to me because when is a more perfect time than midnight you know if you follow me on instagram which you should i am cc suarez across all social media but if you follow me on instagram you know that all of these things but that this specific and most recent example happened last week it's crazy that i even have to say this and I do find some comfort in that I'm obviously not the only person in my industry that this has happened to. It's happened to a lot of people. Do not be coming to my house. Don't come to my house. Do not do that. So I wanted to make this video not only to say, hey, don't come to my house, but also to highlight other people that this has happened to in other situations where this has happened and also situations where like it ended up a lot worse. And just kind of talk about the the nuance of the conversation in regards to the parasocial aspect of this job. Now, when it comes to being someone who is a content creator, is a YouTuber, is an influencer, and makes money online, you know, this is my job. The parasocial relationship can really be what makes you very, very, very successful. It can also take a dark turn and put you in a lot of danger. Unlike with actual celebrities and the people you actually think of when you think of someone being a public figure, actresses, musicians, stuff like that, right? With them, there is typically more of a degree of separation. You don't have that direct access to them really through social media. But with YouTube and with Instagram and other social media platforms, you can direct message influencers. You can direct message content creators. You can comment on our stuff. You have a way better chance of us actually responding to you and having a conversation with you, especially someone of my caliber, someone who still would be considered a micro-influencer, especially on Instagram. On YouTube, I think I'm still considered micro-influencer. I'm not sure. But still, you have a pretty good a pretty good chance of someone like me seeing your Instagram DM or your comment. And mostly all of the time, when this is how you make your money, social media, being a content creator, you are the one who is running your social media. You are the person on the other end of that account. And when it's someone who is a celebrity, typically they don't run their own accounts. The ones with their faces on it, like their professional official accounts. A lot of times famous people will actually have burner accounts that they use instead. Now, one thing that I found interesting about this entire situation is that for some reason, when comparing this most recent incident to people in the past, I've never had someone who actually like, who likes me show up at my house. It's always been people, you know, who are threatening or being crazy, whatever. It's never been someone who follows me, likes my content, I've engaged with previously. And that's so strange. You would think that if you like my content, if you do follow me, that you, one, have heard me say, don't come to my house, and two, that you, like, what What about this says, please approach me, much less please approach me at home at midnight. What? <laughs> no. So that added, like, a whole nother scary aspect of it, because it's like, okay, clearly this person is extra not all there if they thought that that was appropriate. But then also if like they do like me and they do watch my content, it's just, it's very, very strange. I'm safe, husband's safe, baby's safe, Wiggum is safe. So don't you worry. We have an amazing security system. We are very well armed. We are very heavily protected in this household. Speaking of being heavily protected, that brings us to the sponsor of this video, which is Aura. Peanut butter and jelly, me and Tony, milk and Oreos. Wiggum and snoring in the background of my videos. These are just a few examples of perfect pairings. Another example is you and the safety of your digital footprint and Aura. Data brokers have your information. They want it. If they don't already have it, they want it. And they're gonna sell it off to scammers, spooky people, creeps, anyone who will pay for it. That's not only your emails, your passwords so they can hack you, but also your phone numbers, 
all those scam likely calls, that's them. Your addresses, your voter registration information, the history of your geolocation, all of that. And that's spooky. So let's get you protected with Aura. Aura does the hard work for you. They are in the background, just really getting it, getting in there, running those automated reports for you, submitting opt-out requests, making sure that you're not on any of these creepy websites and doing removal requests on your behalf. So obviously due to this craziness in this most recent situation, I obviously want to make sure that I am protected from threats that I can see, but Aura makes it easy for me to protect me and my family from threats that I can't see, the digital ones, the ones lurking behind that digital corner. With Aura, I also get other features like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download a bunch of different apps. It's all in one place for one affordable price. So go ahead and protect yourself on the interwebs. Let Aura do the hard work for you and start your two week, two week free trial at aura.com slash CC Suarez. That will be linked down below and in the pinned comment too. Thank you Aura for sponsoring this chaotic video that I wish I never had to make. However, here we are. And thank you to you guys for supporting my sponsors. I really do appreciate it. Some other times this has happened to YouTubers is Jenna Marbles and her now husband, Julian. And here's a little clip of him talking about that and just like how weird it is. And you can visibly see and understand like how truly uncomfortable he is. And as I was bringing the packages in, from outside, a grown ass woman drove up with her son asking if she knew if this was the street Jenna Marbles lived on. I said to her, I said, you can't be here. I said, this is not okay. And she said, I don't know. All of these parents nowadays are taking their kids to these YouTubers houses. It's pretty crazy. And I said, yeah, you drove here. You were the crazy, like you were that, you were the problem here. I don't know why you're trying to act like you're on my team. I said, I think it's best if you leave. And she said, oh, well, we just parked because we're just gonna go for a walk. And I said, no, you didn't. Like you came to our house. So if you could please leave. So she hops in her car and leaves with her poor fucking son who has a mom that would do something like that. Set that kind of example. I don't understand that. A grown person drives their kid to another person's house. <sighs> please don't come to our house. Just please don't do it. There are so many other ways that you can connect with us that are appropriate and not, I don't know wrong, uncomfortable, setting a terrible example for your kid. So to that kid who looked up our address and told his mom to drive us here, I think you might be a little too young to understand why that's not okay, but I do apologize on behalf of your mom for showing you how to invade someone else's privacy because your mom's job is to be the one setting the example of how not to do stuff like that. And then another example is Danny Gonzalez. And it's weird because this happened to him after he had already done a like satirical house tour video. And he even says in it, he's like, don't be coming to my house. Don't do it. Don't be coming to my house. And that's like, I love Danny Gonzalez. And that's actually like when I say don't be coming to my house instead of like, hey, please don't come to my house. When I say it like that, it's like a like it's I'm referencing him, you know, love him. That's actually a good point that I want to bring up. Don't be coming to my house. If you somehow find out where I live, don't be coming here because sometimes people find out where YouTubers live and they come to their house. So I just want to let you guys know that you're not invited to my house. All right, thanks. But apparently he had moved and he walked up to his front door and there was a post-it note. If I can find a clip of him talking about it, I will insert it. But they put a post-it note on his door or a note or something. And it was like, hey, we're not creepy. Like, just wanted to come see you but like you weren't home. So like, sorry, this isn't creepy, we promise. And it's like, yeah, yes it is. What are you doing? You don't know this person. The only thing that I can think is worse than when people think it's okay to come to your house is when adults think it's okay to bring your children to someone's house. I know I'm always like joking around and saying boomer energy, but like that, that's unhinged and that's not okay. There's actually a clip that went viral, I wanna say like a year ago maybe, of this woman had posted on her TikTok or a, a TikTok, I think it was, she posted it herself, of her taking her kids to their favorite streamer's house and he was like filming a video and they knocked on the door first of all interrupted his work day that's gotta piss you off but then he like came downstairs and they're like oh my gosh like can we get a picture can we get a picture like whoa and he's like taken aback clearly and he even says like hey i'm i'm filming right now i mean i'll, I'll come back down but what and i think also just the fact that like they had like the mom was filming it 
can also catch you off guard. And maybe that's why he was like so nice. But there have been people who were like caught on camera, caught on camera in their own home and having the response of like, this is not okay. Like, what are you doing? Get off my property. Like, get, go, go away. Like, this is not okay to bring your kids or even come to my house. You don't know me. And I'm pretty sure there, I was searching for it and searching for it, but there was a video of, I think it was Jenna Marbles. It was an OG YouTuber content creator of some sort. And it was a parent who took their children to the person's house and the content creator was specifically saying exactly what I just said. Like, this is not okay. What are you doing? I couldn't find it though. It was very strange. But there have been a lot of people, a lot of content creators who have had to post saying, don't come to my house. Please stop coming to my house. Like all this. And there's been, I've seen, unfortunately, the opposite end of this or the rebuttal rather of this talking point saying like, oh, well, you signed up for this. No. Unless you're someone like Jake Paul, who is posting his address and telling people to come to his house. Like if you told people to come to your house once, listen, they're just going to take that as an open invitation for the rest of your life. So like that's kind of your own fault. Not kind of, that is your own fault. However, being a content creator, being a public figure does not give people the right to come to your house. And it's annoying inappropriate, but it's, it's jarring. It's scary. I'm very happy that I was asleep when this happened. He even had to make a, an appointment with my psychiatrist and he has actually dealt with stalking a good bit. And this, unless it repeats multiple times now from this same individual, it wouldn't qualify as stalking. But he's like, I think he's like, I think you'll be okay. I don't think the person will do it again, just from what you've told me. And he goes, honestly, I think anyone who comes to your house is in more danger than you by them coming to your house. I was like, yeah, I think you're right too, but it's, it's scary. I'm not going to act like it's not. It's scary. It's spooky. It's uncomfortable. It gives me a lot of anxiety, especially the fact that I have a child. Like, do you want people you don't know coming to your house? Don't do that. And people can say all day long, like, oh, well, how did this person find this address or how'd they find your address? And it's like, if you look hard enough, <laughs> You can, you can find anything on the internet. You really can. And that's sad. It's scary. But especially, I mean, if you live in this area and you're like familiar with the area, like I, I mean, you can, you can find out where public figures live. Please don't come to my house. I'm like just appalled that I even have to make this video. <laughs> so unfortunate. One thing that even my, <laughs> my uh, moderators for my YouTube channel and my Discord were saying was, wow, real bold of someone to do that and like think that they could get away with that when like you are you and then also like what your husband does for a living and I was like yeah that's true I did find out who it was within I want to say less than 10 minutes and I mean I, I have I'm not going to share the side-by-side -side picture but I keep in mind this happened a week ago I did message them today a week later and asked them why they thought it was okay for them to come to my house they swear up and down it wasn't them I guess, I guess it's just a coincidence that they drive the exact same car as the person that they say is not them in the video on my front porch. So it's that kills me. That's sad. I hate that. And I wish that person nothing but the best, but I also wish that they would not come to my house. I mean, if you're going to do it and I like I find out it's you, at least admit it, you know? Like, don't gaslight me. <laughs> All right. Okay, I was going back and forth on if I was gonna show the video. I'm not gonna show the video because then you can like, I mean, you can't really see anything because it's, eh, I'll, I'll blur what is around them. Who am I kidding? I'll have Ethan blur what is around them. I was thinking, I was like, am I gonna blur their face? And I told my husband, I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like violate their privacy. And he's like, they violated ours. I was like, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> All right, here's... Here's the video. It's just so wild. At midnight, what are you doing? It's unfortunate. It's obnoxious. Don't do that. That's scary. You might think, oh, I'm going to meet this person that I really like. Like, this is my chance. You are scaring that person. You're absolutely scaring that person. If you are a content creator, if you are wanting to get into this space, please do like sweeps on the internet of, you know, your personal information. Like I said, you can have that information removed. Aura is a great resource to do that. And you can start your free trial for two links with that link down below. Okay. Thank you. And thank you again, Aura, for sponsoring this video. But you can do that. 
You can have your information with your title company. You can have that information blocked or restricted. You can do that on Google Maps as well. And then there's a bunch of different ways to get information privatized and restricted so that people like can't find you. Using not your real name is probably for the best. Not your your legal name. I should have done that. Yeah. So please be aware of your surroundings. Situational awareness is so incredibly important, especially on the internet though too, but definitely in person. I'd say the part of this that stinks the most is that now whenever I, you know, I'm leaving my house alone, which typically I never do. I usually only leave the house when my husband's with me now. And that's how it's been for the last few years. But now I have to carry everywhere I go. And I like can't carry everything I need in my bag if I have my firearm in it, like snacks. And that's rude. You're making me leave my snacks at home when I go run errands. And that just means that I'm going to have to stop at Taco Bell and get a number seven with a large Pepsi. So that's your fault, not mine. All right, y'all. I really hope that you never experienced this. And I really hope that you take your safety seriously. And I hope that you understands that people on the internet, famous people, people that you do not know personally, people that are not actually like in your circle, they don't want you at your house. If you are not specifically invited to someone's house, do not go to their house for the love of whatever higher power you believe in or don't believe in. Don't do that. Even if you do know them and you're not invited, there's a reason for that. Don't go to their house. Let me end this video by saying, don't be coming to my house. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching my videos and the support in regards to my job. But coming to my house is not, is not that. I'll see you in my next video. And yes, your butt looks good. Okay, bye.